Alright, hello and welcome to the Sonic 3 part of the Sonic & Knuckles 20th Anniversary spe Special. Um, this is going to be detailing particularly how parts of Sonic 3 are different in the complete game Sonic 3 & Knuckles. Uh, the first one you're listening to right now, this piece of music is removed from Sonic 3 & Knuckles. Um, I'm going to be starting from a clear file here. With all the emeralds. Um, don't really need to, but I am going to be getting all the emeralds in the Sonic 3 and Knuckles playthrough, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to get them twice because they don't change at all. Um, as we start the game here, we're about to see the, the second of the changes. Um, the Knuckles music is removed and changed with something else. If you've only ever seen Sonic 3 and Knuckles, you're probably not going to be familiar with that particular piece. Um, okay, so when you have all the emeralds, um, giant rings change slightly. Uh, instead of taking you to a special stage, they'll give you 50 rings. Let's see, I went straight to 64. I'm not going to go Super Sonic yet because. Um, actually, actually, I'll grab that shield. Um, I just want to show something about the. Okay, so mini boss here actually marks the change of act. Um, everything after this point is considered to be act two internally by the game. I'll demonstrate that in a second. That was also the third piece of music that changed. Um, okay, so I'm going to go in here. And when I come out, the music's going to be different. Uh, that's slightly different to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You can, um, you can make that, you can, uh, make the music change in, um, oh, lightning shield, nice. Um, yeah, so the Act 2 music is now playing. Um, you can actually do that in Sonic 3 as well, but it requires going into this special stage, uh, which obviously I didn't do there because, uh, because I have all of the emeralds already. Uh, you'll also notice that one of the things that happened there is I actually... Where am I going? Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Um, yeah, one of the other things you'll notice that happened there is I also lost my shield um, okay, so right here, instead of completing Act 1, which is just over there, I'm going to transform, and I'm going to look up, and this is a glitch you're going to see a lot. Um, so, by making Sonic look up, there, um, moves things below and off screen. Um, yes, it'll be easier. Okay, so I move, so I get dropped into the wall like that. Here, if I jump, I fall down into Knuckles' boss area. Now, Knuckles' bosses don't exist right now because um, this is this hasn't got Knuckles functionality yet. Uh, that's a very inconveniently placed checkpoint. If I touch that, I'm in big trouble. So I'm not going to do that. Um, what I am going to do though is basically play through all of Knuckles Act Two. As you can see, it's mostly complete. Uh, all the rings are in here. All the enemies are in here. Which is very untrue for lots of Knuckles sections throughout the game. Show off a couple of those later. Um, the only thing that's not there is there would normally be a checkpoint there. And that's not good, but everything else is right. Um, and yeah, it gets a little bit messed up here. So this is as far as you can get. And I just have to kill myself off there. And I'll go back to this checkpoint. Back in Act 1, except the game picks it's Act 2. Um, so it's, uh, to mind. 
Uh, one other thing you will notice is it's actually really hard for me to spin Ash in this game compared to Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Um, the game sets kind of a limit on uh, how how slow you've got to be going before before you can actually spin Ash. Uh, the other thing the game does is actually sets a limit on when you can use the Insta Shield. And um, you'll have noticed normally during that fight, for example, in um, Sonic and Knuckle, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, what I would have done there is use the Insta Shield a lot more than I did. I was actually trying to, but it let me. Um, to do here is hit a checkpoint. Um, keeping that shield actually would have been another example of uh, what I was saying earlier with the the shield actually disappearing when you enter a bonus stage in this game. Uh, that actually gets fixed in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. If you enter this stage or any of the other ones, you'll actually keep shield that you went into it with. Um, now what I'm going to do is I am going to comprehensively prove to you, uh, no you can't do it this way can you? No, okay, so we'll go the other way. Um, I'm going to comprehensively prove that the part of the second part of Act 2, uh, of Act 1 rather, it actually counts as part of Act 2. Uh, and is treated that way by the game. What I'm going to do to prove that is I'm actually going to go back to the start of Act 2 um, and actually go back into Act 1. And the game lets you do that. And this always confused me as a kid, but that, but that's why. It's because the Act border is considered... Uh, that was interesting. I've not seen that before. There's always something. Uh, it's because that first mini boss is considered to be where Act 2 begins, and so I can actually go all the way back to there, but no further. Um, so that's my limit. That's that's where Act 2 is considered to start. do that glitch again, but it would actually have a different result. If I had tried to do that glitch then, where I went into the Knuckles area, um, instead of being able to go all the way through the stage, the lower act boundary would actually have set um, in a different position, as you can see, you can spin dash there, despite standing still. Um, Um, what I can show you though, is what I'm going to do 
here is you actually get a little bit of control just before this bridge breaks. So I'm going to so I'm going to dash away from that. You can actually just stand here forever and ever. Look up at Knuckles. He's up there somewhere, still grinning. Um, there's nothing really for you to do here but fall down into the stage. Uh, and the the plane to go down into Hydrosity actually can, continues down to the left side, so that actually still works. Uh, now Hydrosity. Hydrosity is a really, really silly stage. Um, mostly for stuff that doesn't really matter for speedruns, which is why well, Act 2 is broken a bit, but Act 1 you have to play relatively normally, even in the speedrun setting. Although I do like some of the stuff that you do in this bottom part of the stage, like doing spin dashes off spikes with the invincibility. I've always thought that part of the strategy was pretty cool. I'm going to play this pretty much as you would in a speedrun, because there's not a lot else to show off until you get to the boss fight, and the boss fight is where things get a bit stupid. Okay, I'm going to transform into Supersonic. Grab that just so I get an extra life. Uh, so the thing with this boss is it's really confused. It can't really decide what act it's in. As you can see, the Act 2 boss music is playing, which is very wrong. Um, but it gets more wrong. And what we're going to do is, the reason I'm transforming the Super Sonic is we're going to sit here in the water until that happens. And now, as you can hear, <laughs> the mini boss music from Sonic and Knuckles is playing, which should never happen in Sonic 3. So the music was there and they just weren't really sure what to do with it yet. You can actually do this in Act 2 as well, if you, like, there's just enough water there to start drowning. Um, coming up here is the first, um, first level design change in Sonic 3. Uh, yeah, that was a life before. And there were spikes here in the Sonic 3 Knuckles version. That that one in particular is really interesting because it, it looks like there should be spikes there and it looks like it wouldn't have taken that much effort to put them in, so I'm not sure why they did. Um, we're going to play through this stage normally um, because a common refrain of people in my stream is that you don't get to hear enough of this stage music. Um, yeah, by the way, you can also jump through objects like that and that has to do with how Solidity works. Um, in this game, uh, objects have two types of solidity. Um, they can be top solid, solid from the top, or solid from all of the other sides. They're your only two options. So, these ramps are top solid because really, they only have to be top solid, right? Um, that's going to allow us to skip through them like that. Because when you're moving up, top solidity doesn't get activated, and they're quite thin, so they're easy to go through like that. I need to take a hit somewhere. Um, okay, that'll do. So I want to be supersonic for this fight. Um, supersonic really breaks things in this fight. Um, there's a couple of things I'm going to do here. Uh, another checkpoint would be nice. Go back at this point at a checkpoint. No, I might have to play the whole stage from scratch. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I am going to skip over the checkpoint in here, but I have to. I have to do it really quickly because something really dumb happens. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the capsule. Um. So what happened there is the um. Uh, this boss is really bad at setting where its um, right edge boundary is. So I just went right past it and straight to the capsule. Now, as you can see, the trigger for Marble Garden hasn't started. As you can also see, I can actually drown here. So I'm not completely stuck. The other funny thing that happens here is if you, um, 
if you were to reset the game there, um, it actually, when you reload the save, actually puts you in Marble Cut. So, all is not lost in any case. And the good news, as always, is more Hydrosia 2 music. This is... In terms of the Sonic 3 half of the game, this is probably my favourite. I mean, Ice Cap's good, obviously, but... Ah, uh, yeah, that can happen sometimes, too. They're that thin that sometimes if you're falling fast enough, you'll just go straight through. Because why not? Um, I need to get hit. So let's do this again. Uh, this time we're not going to trigger that glitch. We're going to do something else instead. Okay. So I don't know if the right side's actually triggered yet, so I'm just going to stand under here. What I want you to watch here is Sonic Spikes. Other things you can watch are the ring counter. Fact that Sonic hasn't, um, yeah, his palette hasn't changed. He's still very yellow, but he controls like regular Sonic uh, because he is, except for the fact that he's still invincible. Um, this game is very bad at setting, um, at, at changing states. So when he's going up through the whirlpool, he's still invincible, but. Yeah, for some reason the game assumes that you're back to the game of Sonic, and there's a couple other instances where even stranger things happen than that, but we'll talk about those as we get to it. Um, this act has some interesting things wrong with it. are actually really good. They're only where the spikes actually are. So I um, I hit it close enough to the top that that's not actually where the spikes are. I've got away with it. Um, okay, so here's where this gets a bit silly. I'm going to slow down here. Uh, we're going to wait till the screen scrolls up because that's when the boss loads. And we'll go over here and we'll... Tails is going to do the work here. Okay, boss destroyed. Got the fire shield. And... Game crashed. So that's, um... Yeah, that happens because... Um, it's trying to load Act 2 off in the background, but you're actually still standing in Act 1. And the game doesn't like that very much. So we're gonna go back into that save file. From... Um, and we're going to do a little bit of a different strategy this time. Uh, yeah, Insta Shield is amazing like that. You can actually pass straight through objects like that if you're moving fast enough. Um, the invincibility lasts for, I think it's 16 frames, which is a quarter of a second, which is a lot more time than you think it is. When it comes to objects like that. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get this one right. Okay. 
Alright, so that time I got stuck in the... Um, I got stuck in the spring. And then if I do a jump just after a spin dash, I can push down. Um, tails? Alright, so this time we're going to do the same thing. But this time we're going to move into Act 2. And uh, that only happens with... Sonic 3. It's just kind of funny. You get stuck rolling on the side like that. Uh, this fire shield is going to come in handy. Uh, what? <laughs> now that one I wasn't expecting. <laughs> I can't say I've seen that before. And I can't say I know why it happens. I'm just really hoping that it's actually possible for me to beat this stage at this point. Uh, so this time, what I think I'll do during that boss is actually bring Sonic onto the screen for the last hit. Okay, so at least you get to see this again. I'll have a, I'll have a better go at explaining what happens. No, no, okay, no mind. Don't get to see it again. I'll show you this one instead. Okay. Uh, so this is a, this is a similar thing, but it's easier to do. So I'm just going to move into where that fire shield is, and then I get pushed into the wall, and then all I have to do is hold left, and I get put. Uh, to the end there. Oh! <laughs> 
No chance. <laughs> die there which is incredible. Um let's try one more thing. <laughs> oh this game is amazing. Alright so guess what I have to do? I have to beat Act 1 again. For the fourth time on this playthrough. So pay attention to my score when I come back. Oh yeah, that's another um, clip that gets changed. As well as the invincibility, which you may have also heard. Oh, yeah, you will have when I change the supersonic. So we don't know exactly what's going on here, but we do know that that's running special stage code. You can also hear the continue there. Um, it's also it's also well known that this game runs basically off the top of Sonic 2, um, and that's essentially how Sonic 2 would handle a special stage situation. Uh, you may also have noticed that the uh, background here was completely wrong. Still is and will be for the remainder of the stage. Um, I don't remember if going into a bonus stage fixes that. I might find out if I get the rings. Thank you. 
may have noticed again, I couldn't actually, um, I had no air control. Okay, um, wait. I'm not going to transform just yet. Because I want to take this check. want to show off actually requires the fire shield, but, um, oh, that's handy. <laughs> As I mentioned, you actually lose whatever shield you have when you go into the, the bonus stage, but fire shield drop first up, I don't know about that. Okay, so basically, uh, the fire shield protects you from fire damage. Um, this is something they didn't quite get right in Sonic 3. So yeah, for whatever reason, that's not treated as fire damage. Um, it does actually work in most instances, just not there. Alright, so from here we go to Carnival Knight. Carnival Knight doesn't change a lot from Sonic 3 to Sonic 3 Knuckles. Um, yeah, I can't think of too many things off the top of my head, except for the fact that not being able to spin dash properly makes the, um, the speed on strategy harder. So we're just going to do the, um, the glitchless strategy. I want to say Sonic 3 alone is actually a bit nicer with no way of proving that, so I won't say it. Get a little jump off, off that slope there. Gets you up into that nice little shocker. Ah, this is something you'll have seen me do a lot before if you watch me play. So normally you can actually um, you can actually make yourself die there if you spin dash into that gap as it's falling. Um, it'll treat you as being on it and it'll push you down with with it and you'll die because you know that's the desired result. Now. Um, decision to make uh, because there's a there's a big section of water coming up um, 
there's also a water shield. I generally take it. It lets you go through the water section a little bit quicker, but it does take a little bit to get, so there's a, there's a bit of a trade-off going on. Um, and I completely bombed it by landing on that. Yeah, if the water catches up with you, you've lost time by going through the water shield. Um, Uh, something that you'll also notice about the balloons in this stage, uh, or you will when I get the chance to show it off. Oh, uh, yeah, by the way, um, yeah, boxes act like they're doing something too as well. Which means that, yeah, you can hit them from the bottom, like that. Um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles basically just treats them like it would enemies. Okay, so I'm going to transform here, and you'll see there is one... Oh, it's not here. Uh, there might be one here. No! Oh, well, that's annoying. Um, there is a certain type of blue balloon that's actually linked to Sonic's sprite, so when he's super, uh, they will turn this flashing yellow, which is... Looks really amusing when you see it. Uh, I don't think I've seen it anyway. By the way, I just skipped like half a minute of gameplay there with that one jump. Um, okay, so you can actually do interesting things here where you actually come into this from the other side. Um, if you do that and you move into that knuckles cutscene facing left, uh, it's game over because knuckles actually won't um, press the switch unless you move towards him, and that only happens if you're facing right. As you notice there, though, I held left during the tunnel, but the, uh, during during the fall, there's actually a trigger there to make you go to the right. Uh, now, something different here, with this, uh, something that's different from Sonic 3, is that you can uh, shoot the cannon anytime you want. And that's actually slightly faster if you shoot out of it straight away, and then just jump back in. Uh, again. That should have been timed well enough, yep, okay. So I'm going to get 50 rings on the slope, and... Turn super and game doesn't like that very much. Doesn't like that either. Um, so what's actually so what I did there is if you spin dash under an object like that, uh, the game gives you enough time to get away. But if you jump then your standing sprite is actually slightly larger than your rolling sprite, so there's not enough room to put you back once uh, if you're underneath the sprite and you're just dead. And I was expecting an instant shield there. Okay, so in this stage, I'm going to show you the single strongest spikes in Sonic history. And if you don't believe me, just watch. So this is, um, so this is actually Knuckles' area. Um, like a lot of Knuckles' areas, it's not actually complete. Um, I'll show you what I mean by that. So, I don't have a shield, do I? So I'm, gonna, so I'm just going to lose all my rings straight away. So, the, the spikes are strong enough to take away... Uh, Super Sonic's rings, and then to uh, to make it even more obvious that they're the most powerful ever, um, they don't actually let you get them back. That's how strong those spikes are. Um, just going to be going through the rest of. Yes, I'll go through the rest of this stage as well. Find that it too is actually. 
actually mostly complete. Um, one thing they don't have in there is the boss. see there that Sonic is slightly in the f slightly in the floor. Uh, that's to do with whenever you roll, um, Sonic's sprite actually moves down a little bit. Uh, it's, it's also the same reason that that, um, that jumping marble garden works. With the spring, you actually have the spring push you down. Uh, you have to go while you're rolling. But in Sonic 3 levels, there is a springboard there. Uh, Sonic 3 alone doesn't have it. Makes the top path completely inaccessible to Sonic, which is awesome. Now I have to Aside from get that extra life without breaking the ice, which is awesome. I completely, I completely did that intentionally, obviously. Um, actually, there's one more thing over here. So it is here, is it? Yeah. Okay. So this. This pillar looks really scary and should crush you. No! Not scary at all. Because when Sonic 3 released on its own, it was the last completed level, uh, they tried really hard to make it the last level. Um, so, if you're familiar with the Sonic 3 level layer, there's a lot of different things. Like that guy on the middle of the, um, on the middle of the thing there, that's a common occurrence. You'll see that quite a lot. Uh, these, these elevator things are actually as well. There's um, there's a pretty consistent way to actually break out of any one. Uh, I'll show you that next one. I come last. Okay, 
So sometimes what happens there is it doesn't set the background foreground properly. And oh, I forgot again. Um, yeah, it doesn't set the background foreground properly, and uh, Super Sonic will actually appear, appear to be in the front of that. Okay, so here's how you do it. So you can stand on this here, and as soon as that moves to the bottom, you do a spin dash, and you come straight out the other side like that. This is not good. Uh, yeah, run out. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter too much. Save that for the Sonic Knuckles bit. Oh, I don't have enough friends to do this thing. Yeah, that's another thing that, that happens because the um, floor get burned. I know what I'm trying to say. The, the kill plane gets set down there. That's alright, that lets me show the other thing off. So just to prove that this one works on any of the... Uh, I don't think that will have worked. No, because it was moving up. It has to be right at the bottom of the cycle for it to work. Because the thing I really want to show off in the next act doesn't actually work in Sonic 3. Um, which is really unfortunate. Uh, the other thing that you'll notice about this is um, I don't know if you, how well you can see it because of the frame rate, but the uh, the movement of this thing is really janky. It's not very well animated. Okay, so about to go into the boss. Yeah, so. Um, this only works when the, that Robotnik object isn't there, which is why I was trying to get the bonus stage. But the uh, the trigger to start the, the boss music is set way too early. So you can actually trigger it multiple times. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how well you can see it, but it clearly is not. Nice for tails. Okay, 
Well, I guess I'll show off the last thing in the game that can actually hit Super Sonic. Um, other than that, it's really all just all about this being the end of the game. Um, so obviously this is the last stage in Sonic 3 alone. And again, like I mentioned, it's really trying hard to be a final stage. Uh, there's even a couple of robot boxes here. It's three in total. different game is Sonic 3 and Knuckles to Sonic 3. Uh, gonna grab this because I need a lot of rings uh, for the end. Okay, how much have I got? I got about two minutes to play with. I'm actually not sure if that's enough, you know. I really don't know. Oh, well. Okay. Um, don't really want a shield, but I'm going to get one. There's no way I'm getting out of this without a shield. Um, those rings would be nice. No, oh, I got out of it without a shield. That's a miracle. I basically just jumped right behind the invisible wall that's meant to protect Robotnik there. And a slight change in uh, Sonic and Knuckles versus Sonic 3. Um, if you're able to do that in Sonic 3, uh, if you're able to do it in Sonic and Knuckles rather, um, the game is like you you still can't hit Robotnik until he moves up to a certain point in his animation. Uh, there, it just doesn't care, and we'll let you hit him whenever. Um, you can actually even get there before he shows up, and you can just hit the, um, you can just hit the corpse, the machine itself. Um, obviously this phase doesn't really pose much of a threat when you super sign. Uh, it's, it's more the last phase we're interested in, uh, for multiple reasons. Um, Obviously, the first one of them being that it's the only boss that they saw fit to take out of, to take out of Sonic's part of the game. Uh, it wasn't considered too hard for Knuckles, though, which is in keeping with the fact that Knuckles is generally harder. Um, with Knuckles, he makes four passes, with Sonic only two. Uh, Sonic can actually jump high enough to hit him from here, but this can actually hurt. That can actually hurt Super Sonic, and it will take your rings off you, but if you wait... Okay. So, you saw it there as well. You can actually hit him from underneath as long as... When he's in that underneath phase, as long as you're rolling. Uh, and then you jump, which is why I bounce backwards. And that is the end of Sonic 3. Aside from one last piece of music that was also removed from the, um, 
from the complete game, which is the credits music. The famous, um, supposed Stranger in Moscow link. Personally, I don't hear this one. Um, the other ones, the supposedly tenuous links to Michael Jackson songs make more sense to me. Although, obviously, Ice Cap has the more recognisable Hard Times link now. Um, other than that, I think we're just about done here. So... first or second in the actual stream, so you either have something three and knuckles to look forward to, which is going to take about three hours, or you have whoever I'm raiding to look forward to. So in either case, thanks for coming along on the ride with me, and let's see what comes next.